Um, I'm here with Emma Louise Jones and I'm just going to ask you a few questions as a presenter and um, podcaster. You've mentioned a lot in your talk about saying yes to opportunities. Did you face any difficulty with reaching a balance between saying yes to things and having enough of a deep enough knowledge to go into that certain area? Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, for a start, lack of sleep means even if you're the most knowledgeable person on earth, you aren't running at 100%. Um, and I actually, for a year of my life, if the truth be told, I said yes to that many things that I didn't see my friends for a whole year. Um, in fact, I lived with my best friend at the time and she said to me, we live together, but I don't ever see you. You're never here. I was doing Stoke, Leeds, London from 4 a.m. until midnight sometimes all over the place. And I was spreading myself so thin in so many different areas of work, but there were moments where I thought, I can't possibly be giving the best of myself to any of these things individually. Um, and that's why I'm grateful that I've now been able to strike a balance where I am able to say yes to opportunities that great that, that suit me and no to the ones where I think actually this isn't something that's very me it's not something I want to do but I think every single journalist has probably been through that at some point I think it's part of the world of it building yourself up building a portfolio is that being a, a yes person means you have to just do the best with what you've got in front of you so you've got to be careful not to say yes to too many things when you've reached that point. Yeah, I think, look, I would always encourage people to say yes to opportunities um, that are going to help them. The other thing that I would point out is I've also been offered opportunities that could have been detrimental to my career that I've said no to. And so it's really important to have a level of self-awareness early on. And that ties into the thing of staying true to who you are. I know who I am. I know what I want and I know what I don't want. Um, and I think too many people... Um, can get caught up in saying yes to things just because they're like, well, it's an opportunity. I've been given an opportunity. Um, but yeah, I said yes to a lot of the right opportunities. I'm very grateful for. They got me to where I am today. But there does come a point where you have to just start saying yes to a few and no to a lot so that you can give those few your best. Would you say that saying yes to the right things has gotten you where you are today? 100%. And don't get me wrong, like... I have been you guys and I've sat and watched somebody come in and talk about their career and it's felt like so far away f from me for now um, but saying yes has been the way and working through the fear like I have had over the years crippling a crippling lack of self-belief my confidence has been knocked so many times because not only has it been a case of me saying yes it's been me knocking on doors and being told no and that's the bit like that's why I've had to say yes, because I've been told no so many times. So therefore, the things that do come my way, I've gone, yeah, please, I'll do that. Um, so I do. I think that is why I am where I am today. Um, and finally, do you have any particular moment that stands out as something you're particularly proud of? And with that, is there a certain aspect of your job that is by far your favourite at the moment? Um, interestingly, um, it one of those happened last week. I was sent to Portugal um, to a thing called Web Summit you might not have heard of, um, but basically it's some of the most intelligent and fascinating minds all congregating in a room. I don't know why I was there. Um, but I was um, interviewing people, and I was actually asked while I was there, um, will you go on... I was, so they have like multiple different stages, and it's just different platforms for people to showcase things. And while I was there, they actually said to me, will you come on centre stage in front of 40,000 people and interview a Hollywood actress a famous football um, journalist and a COO of a massive global corporation. And that was the first time in a long time I've had one of those moments of going, I can't do that. I'm not capable of doing that. And then I shook myself and went, oh, you can, Emma. You remember this feeling. Remember how good you're going to feel once it's done. And it's like fighting that fear and just doing it anyway. And I got out onto that stage and it was a 25-minute interview with the three of them. And I cannot express how much I enjoyed it and how much even, you know, I've been doing journalism. I, I do it like that because it just doesn't feel like a job. Um, now for many years. And even now, I have those moments of going, oh, my God, like, how has this happened? This is amazing. What, a, what an incredible experience. And I, I, um, I'm, I know that in my line of work I'll never know everything uh, there'll always be more learning to do and every opportunity that I do take that I think is right for me is an opportunity to learn um, and I, I could learn from you you'll know things that I don't and I think that's a really really important thing to take away as well, well thank you so much I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. thank you for having me thank you thank you good luck